In the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Before his martyrdom, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, had successively underlined the emanate of Imam Hassan Mushtaba. This was also emphasized previously by the Holy Prophet of Islam. After the martyrdom of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, Imam Hassan Mujtaba raised on a pulpit and delivered a speech to the people and people offered their religions to His Holiness. Some people, of course, refused to offer their religions to the Holy Imam. Imam Hassan did not allow anyone to bother or force those people who had actually refused to offer their religions to Imam Hassan Mushtaba into giving their hand to the Holy Imam. This is just the same method that was practiced since the very beginning of his mission by the Holy Prophet of Islam. His Holiness never forced anyone into the faith of Islam. And just in the same manners, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, when people gave their allegiance to Imam Ali, peace be upon him, the few people who refused to give allegiance to Imam Ali, none of them was hurt or bothered by anyone. And this is the method by the Almighty God, His messengers and His favorite servants, because there is no compulsion in religion. However, the enemies and the opponents of the Holy Messengers, they committed all acts of oppression and used compulsion and force in every way possible to make sure that people are obedient to them. With respect to Imam Hassan Mushtaba, one of these sentences that is recorded in history Mu'awiyah wrote a letter to Imam Hassan Mushtaba after the martyrdom of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. In that letter, Mu'awiyah invited Imam Hassan Mushtaba to offer his allegiance to him. And in that letter, Mu'awiyah said this sentence. And you can find this sentence in various history books. Mu'awiyah said to Imam Hassan that I have a bigger right to the leadership of the Ummah because I am, because I am older than you. Just because Mu'awiyah was older than Imam Hassan, he believed himself the fit choice to occupy the leadership of the Muslim community. What kind of logic or reason is this? The world must be made aware of these realities because it doesn't know about it. The history has recorded these facts, but not too many people know about it. On the contrary, Imam Hassan did not force anyone to give their allegiance to him. 
This is despite the fact that the Holy Prophet had introduced Imam Hassan as a leader of the community in the future. Imam Ali had also made this clear that his son should take over the Muslim community. However, Imam Hassan never forced anyone into his allegiance. However, Muawiyah suppressed thousands of people that refused his allegiance. When Muawiyah sent someone, some emissaries to other areas to receive the allegiance of people, he used to recommend those emissaries to ask people to give allegiance, and if they refuse to do so, kill them all. Not only that, but also those people who refused to offer their allegiance to Mavia, when they were killed, even their properties were confiscated. Anyone who refused the authority and leadership of Mavia, their properties were confiscated too. There is a long letter written by Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, to Muawiya. In one part of that letter, Imam Hussein says, In this letter, Imam Hussein is describing the path of corruption and oppression set out by the Umayyad, not just Muawiya. Imam Hussein said that you gouge out the eyes of people just because they do not accept your leadership. Imam Hussein to Hamun Nawil Salawatullah Ali Bari Mawiyah. In that letter, Imam Hussein also mentions the name of a very loyal companion of the Holy Prophet, who was also a very pious and secluded pious person. He was the person whose name resembled piety, and his body was weakened due to his insistence of performing acts of worship. However, because that person did not acknowledge Muawiyah's leadership, and he did not create any rebellion or something, he just did not accept the leadership of Muawiyah, his head was cut off. And his head was put on display in many different cities. It is also said that Muawiyah ordered the dead body of these people who refused his allegiance to be burnt. Also, their houses were burnt down. Amr ibn Hamd Khuzayi was the name of this pious person. He fled from Muawiyah, however Muawiyah captured his wife and put her in prison so that this person had to surrender himself to Muawiyah. And then they beheaded this person and threw the head to the wife who was in prison. All the beheadings, all the destructions and burning down houses, it is all originated from those people who stood up and resisted the truth represented by the Holy Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. This should be stopped. And the first step to this is to enlighten people about the culture and the school of the Holy Ahlul Bayt. 
in all parts of the world. We need to preach out the virtues of the Holy Ahlul Bayt. Nowhere in history we can find that anyone was forced to do anything by the Holy Ahlul Bayt. The Holy Ahlul Bayt always respected the freedom of every person. On the other hand, we have those opponents and oppositions of the Holy Ahlul Bayt, like Muawiyah, who killed thousands and thousands of people in just a single day. It is the responsibility of everyone, especially during this holy month of Ramadan, that we need to unfold these realities to the entire world, and so people will be given the choice to believe in truth or in falsehood. People need to be shown the true path, and then they can choose for themselves whether to tread this path or not. On the Judgment Day, no one should be able to bring the excuse that they were not aware of the truth. And on the Judgment Day, the ultimate proof of God should have been put on display to people. And it is the responsibility of the Muslims, especially the young dear believers, they need to spend time and energy and form groups if there is need and disseminate the culture of the Holy Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, this culture of virtues and morality in opposition to the culture of vices and corruption represented by the enemies of the Holy Ahlul Bayt. I hope that Almighty God gives this honor to everyone. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household.